Frankenstein, may I come in? Uh, Mrs. Frankenstein, I'd like to talk to you. Is there a problem? Yes, there seems to be a problem. We've had complaints about this house, and there's also two girls that were cleaning ladies here. Oh, Their wow. bodies were found in the lake. Oh, Are you sure you have the right house? The right house. Strange going on in this house from the townspeople. They see electricity in the windows. Hold on just a moment. Just, just, just a second. start in a basement. This is the basement door. So, Billy, what happened? So, Joe, all I did was go down the basement. Stood around in a, in a fight with a monster that was down there. It looked like the Frankenstein monster. And this was the result of this fight. But I think he got the worst of it. Igor, you have to go to the college tonight to the anatomy, anatomy lab and get me a brain. The body that Clarence had had a bullet in his head.
Police, help! There's a monster running up Cornell Street. Come help! Country, come in. This is Central Country. Country, come in. This is Central Country. This is car three. Come in, Central. Johnny, get over to Cornell Street. There's a monster running around. 10-4 Central, I thought I saw something suspicious this morning. I'm heading out that way now. I'll keep you informed. Claire, call home. Get the kids off the street. Car 3 to Central. I think I see the monster. I think I've spotted him on Cornell Street here. I'm going to try to get him. Yeah, that looks like him. I'm going to try and apprehend him. This is car three. I just saw the monster again. He's running over this way. I'm going to try and apprehend him on foot. Central, this is car three. I've shot him. I've got three slugs in him, and he's still running. Send back up. We need help. Sorry, where is he? Where is he? We've got him cornered. He's up in the tower. We've got to wait him out. He's got three slugs in him. He can't go very far. We'll wait for him right here. He's got to come out. Sarah, where were you? I was feeding the ducks, but I got lost. Melissa, what are you doing? I'm learning how to knit. Very good. Thank you. What are you learning at school today, Melissa? We're learning about the 13 colonies. Okay. Hi, hon. What's for dinner? Milo, the same as usual. Go wash up, please. Okay. Hon, what's that name of that teenage doctor with the 10 cent tip? He disappeared. His grandmother suspects foul play. Melissa, set the table for dinner. Okay. I want to watch TV. Cereals cost up to 40% less than popular box brands. Get your family favorites at prices that are easy to swallow. Quaker bagged cereals. Great taste and savings by the bag full. This is the Tri-State Area's news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Arnold O'Brien. We have a late-breaking news story. The body of a young medical researcher, Dr. Anthony Frankenstein, who has been missing for several days, has been found in the woods. Now we will transfer over to Carol Cronin, our roving reporter. Thank you, Arnold. 
Here I am on location in the woods near Huguenot Lake in New Rochelle, where the body of young Dr. Frankenstein was found this afternoon by a couple walking their dog. According to Detective Andrews, two women had been found killed in the lake in this area and now the body of Dr. Frankenstein. Residents are fearing that there's some kind of madman running around in these woods and they're really mortified. I'd like to now interview Mr. and Mrs. Smith who found the body. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I understand that you found the body. Can you share with us what happened? We were just out walking the dog, and we were going by the lake, and the dog suddenly started to bark and bark and ran in the woods. So we followed it in, and there we found the body of this young man. And it was a terrible thing. Must have been frightening. Oh, it was, but we were nervous around here. We were glad we had the dog. It would have frightened anyone off that would have bothered us. Right. Well, thank you for sharing it with us. And now I'd like to return back to Arnold O'Brien, who's been following the O.J. Simpson trial. Thanks, Carol. Now we go to Los Angeles to the O.J. Simpson trial. O.J. says he's 100% absolutely not guilty. That's awful. I'm scared. Well, don't walk home from school. I'll pick you up. Let's see. I'm hungry. 